Hi everyone, this is Glenn Flaherty from Board Games and Bourbon, and I wanted to talk to you about Calico, which is the digital implementation of the physical game. Now essentially this is an abstract game where there are patches that have scoring criteria, and if you put patches around the scoring patch that meet that criteria, you're going to get points. But it's also sort of a point salad, because you get points for matching cat patterns, and for getting color patterns, and for getting enough buttons, and all this stuff. So, um, in short, before I play the game, let me just tell you that I found the demo super easy and intuitive to play. It let me make my own decision so it wasn't rote. It's one of the few times that the sensible gameplay and the easiness in which you can get into gameplay makes me want to get the physical one. I started with this and I wanted to get the digital. Well, let's look at the app here. So I'm going to do new game. And the first thing you're going to do is choose how many humans and how many AIs. When you choose AI, you can choose the difficulty of one paw, two paw, three paw. I'll do just one opponent at one. And then you can choose your patterns here. Like Millie uh, wants three tiles, three patches of the same pattern touching. Callie wants the same pattern, but in a triangle. Tibbet wants four more touching. Let's go ahead. There's a lot to choose from here. You can get a bunch of different things. And you can unlock stuff. There's even a, if I go back here, you're going to see there's a master quilters challenge. And as you play, you unlock stuff. Okay. If I score 50, I move on. I move on. It gets more complex and more challenging. So let's just play the game. We're going to go here. And I don't know if I'm going to play a whole game, but I'm certainly going to give you a feel for it. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that the visuals are just wonderful. The music is very uh, serene. Some of it gets a little uh, more folky. Some of it reminded me of Queen of California by John Muir. So if that's your bag, this might be up your alley. Um, here are the scoring cards. Again, Millie wants three of a pattern, stripes, or this fern leaf looking thing. Callie wants dots or flowers. Uh, Tibbet kind of wants like this like fence looking pattern over here or this uh, pattern over here. The cats are also here. And if you really get bored, you can get some energy. Scratch them. Get a purr. Get that tail in the air for good luck. You can scratch all of them. A lot of fun there. Okay, now what you're going to do here is you're going to place onto the board. Let me... I'll restart with a new game, so here you go. <clears throat> You're gonna choose these in the bottom right here. These uh, patterns that you wanna score now. I'll, I usually go with something easy, so I'll go with the 7-Eleven. What that means is, of the tiles that are gonna surround it, I need two that are gonna be the same A, two different ones that are the same B, and two different ones that are the same C. If they're the same in color, or a pattern, you'll get seven points, but if it's the same of both, you get 11 points. That's gonna be true for all of these. So I'm just gonna throw, this one uh, means they can't be equal, but I'm gonna put this one down. Four have to be the same here, okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press go. I populate and I get two blues. Now what's gonna happen here is, <clears throat> when you make your patterns, you can also use the quilts around the edge, which is kind of cool. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get matching colors. So I'm going to put a blue over here. So this blue is next to that blue. And then I will pick a light blue for a different pattern. Okay. I'm going to put my next blue down. And all right. Now that I do that, I have three blues touching and I got my blue button. If you look over here on the right, I got my blue button. I get points for all of those buttons I get. And then I get bonus points if I get everything done, which is kind of cool. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to score a pattern here, okay? So, Millie, for example, wants three or more fern leaves touching. So I'm going to take this fern leaf, I'm going to put it right here. Three fern leaves are touching, and I got Millie for three points. I'm already up to six, which is kind of cool. Now, uh, I'm going to try to complete one of these cards. Uh, I'll take a yellow. You can see how fast it moves. I would say the game's playing like ten minutes. It's also one of those games where there's so many different things to pay attention to. Uh, you're probably not going to pay attention to all of them, or at least you can't score all of them. So it kind of, you know, makes it fun to explore different ways to score. So here I'm going to put a yellow. Put a yellow right here. Yeah, I'm putting yellow there because it's touching another yellow, which is kind of cool. I'm going to put this light blue here. I'm going to put my blue in the corner now. When I put my blue in the corner, 
I will have two blues to qualify as double A's for that patch, but I'll also have three blues in a row, and that'll get me a blue button for another three points. Okay, so now I have two. Um, I am going to grab my green, put it here. All right, I'm gonna put my blue, my uh, green right there. And that will qualify. I'm actually going to grab this green here because I'm also going to try to make three greens touch again for a green button. I'm going to put my green right there. And then to complete this patch, I'm going to use a pink because it wants to have two A's, which I'm using blue, two B's, which I'm using greens, one C, which I'm going to use yellow, one pink for the D. So now I'm scoring based on color, but I'm not going to score on pattern. So I'm going to get five points. Bonk. There we go. Oh well. But I got points. I'm, I'm cool with that. The next thing I'm going to do, I'll grab anything. I don't really care. I'll grab yellow so I can try to get a yellow patch. And then I'm going to drop my green patch. <clears throat> get my green button. Boom. Like getting that. And I'll grab a pink again because I need multiple pinks for this button up here. At the same time, I'm going to build towards my yellow button. I'll put my yellow button at the top. And I'll grab a purple because why not? Game's over half done already, which is amazing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put you right there. I'm going to try to find, I'll grab a green, but I really want to get a yellow, and then we'll conclude it there if I can. 80 tiles are low, so I like that there's a count there. You do have to watch what your opponents do so you're not hampered. Um, put a purple, and I'm going to grab this to get my tile, to get my three in a row here and get my button. Alright, I'm going to put this down and get my button. Kaboom! And kind of, I'll get blue because I don't have too many blues. Grab that purple, complete this. Ah, there it goes. Now what you will find too is as you play, there's a high chance that you paint yourself into a corner. Uh, that happens a lot. Tibbet wants uh, flower pattern. So I'm going to put a flower pattern there because why not? I'm going to grab this because I'm going to try to go for Tibbet because I think that'll be fun. So it's interesting, you know, you could get points from completing the center patches, but you might actually get more points from completing cats and um, patterns. It's kind of neat to think of it that way. I'm going to just try to get another flower pattern if I can. I'm just going to drop it right there, and that'll give me four in a row. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to put you there because I don't care. YOLO! drop that down. I'll get that cat and you'll see how it goes. And that's really how the game's going to play. Um, the game usually ends, you know, if I'm really paying attention. Meow. There you go. Got my cat. Okay. So I'm at 25 points. My opponent is at 26. But if I pay really close attention, I usually end up winning. Um, I guess we're close enough. I could try to complete it, although I've kind of already blown it because uh, I wasn't paying attention to my patches, but that is okay. Um, I'll take this here. Anyway, that's how you play the game. If you're interested in something that's easy to play, easy to learn, easy to teach, and I think would translate really well over the internet and definitely in person, check out Calico. I've had a great time with it. So if you've played it, let me know. If you've played the physical, I would love to know how that compares to what I'm showing you here. And uh, until next time, I'll talk to you, all right? Be well. Talk to you then. Bye.